What's next? I'm having a little bit of an anxiety situation. And I figured I'd better as well share it. I have a nine to five office job or actually more six to three thirty, but uh, eight hour job, a oh, 40 hour week kind of job. And I was working on a document and I re reached a dead end a couple months ago. And other things came up and I forgot about it. And my boss asks me for it, but as I was signing off the computer at 3.30, actually he, signed, he asked me at 3.34, I think he knew I was signing off. So he asked for this document that I haven't finished because I reached a dead end. And he wanted to know if it was complete yet. So of course I'm having an anxiety attack right now, or not really, I'm anxious about it. And I figure I might as well use it to as a le learning lesson for myself and for others. I completed it. I should have went to him, told him I reached a dead end. But I was waiting for a response back that never happened from other people. So one option is I can blame others for my mistake. They didn't get back to me. Uh, and I forgot about it. Um, in other words, I can blame him for not getting back to me and asking about it earlier. But it all comes back to me. I have to take personal responsibility for my life. And I have to present to him and say, at 6 o'clock in the morning, when I sign on onto the computer, since I'm working from home, and say to him, I apologize. Things fell to the wayside. I wasn't able to collect documents to justify some of these points. They're in yellow still. Um, it's still stuck. It's not signed off. I can't progress further. I apologize for not telling you sooner. Now, two things can happen. The worst case scenario is he can fire me. Best case scenario, he can apologize for not getting back to me sooner. Now, most likely he's going to be upset with me and probably Say something about being disappointed or angry if you just, my door was always open, you could have asked for help, that kind of thing. And it would probably go somewhere in the middle. Because most likely someone else is asking for this document above him. And they wanted it completed a couple months ago. And now they're asking where it is. So he will have something to present to them. But they'll be probably about maybe 20% be yellow lines of things that I can't justify, I can't corroborate. I don't have a backup document for these things, which is what I need in order to complete the document. But I have an idea what they would be, but I can't prove it. So if it's not proven, it doesn't exist from my point of view. And the documents should have been given to me easily. They're not secret to no company secrets for anybody but I just I need to I need something to document to to back up the information I presented in the in this 20 page document so right now I'm having anxiety because it's out of my control but the anxiety is caused by me surrendering my power to someone else here I am in full power I am in full control of my life it's my life. My boss has no power over me unless I give it to him and I'm taking it back. So what happens, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do exactly what I planned, which is at six o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Not sooner, I'm not gonna sign the computer, look at the document, do anything else. At six o'clock in the morning, I'm going to write him an email explaining the situation. And sometime between six and seven or whenever he comes in, I'm going to attach the document. I'm going to apologize for not attaching the document and attach a second email with the document atta attached explaining the yellow lines exist because I was not able to back up any of the information that's yellow. And that's all I can do. And then let the chips fall and I'll be free. Because whatever happens, Everything that happened before that moment he sent in the email, poof, it's history. And everything after that doesn't exist. 
So right now, all I have to do is send that email with the document attached and I'm free. And now some would say, well, you have an anvil sitting over your head about not sending that document, why don't you send it now? Well, that's a good thought, but I want to. That anvil doesn't exist until, you know, it's, yes, the potential of it sitting up there, if I sent it now, I'd be free. But I still want to think about it because I want to put my email in the right way, but I want to let it faster so that, you know, I'm going to wake up probably about 5 in the morning, 5 30, which I do every day, write the email, and then claim I come in at 6. And then claim it because my shift starts at 6. So it's all a dot. It's an, it's an office job, job with commuting, so they allowed me to swing shift starting at 6 as the earliest we could come in. So I'm going to continue it even for working from home. Now he could say, well, I'd rather you come in, you know, you start work later and finish later. That's another thing entirely. But that's not, that's not my shift. My shift is 6 to 3, which is 9 hours. And I don't really take a full lunch because I'm so focused on the work I do. So I'm a good worker. And even if he lets me go, it doesn't matter because I already have something backed up. I have a backup plan all the time. So by letting me go actually kind of frees me up for other opportunities. Could be better, could be worse, but there's still opportunities. And most likely, actually, there won't be any worse opportunities. Every opportunity I have is either better or the same, status quo, same salary, no change, same salary, same insurance, everything's the same. I can explain that more, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just venting right now because my anxiety issue, which there's nothing to worry about. So my advice, if you have an anxiety issue, you should think about your opportunity, your, 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 yeah, think about your opportunities, think about how you can progress forward, cut the past, the past history no longer exists, it's a made up story, forget the future, the future is all written in pencil, you exist right now, at this moment, to make a decision, and then live with the decision whenever the chips fall. Because we are in full power of our life and no one can influence us, no one can upset us, no one can make us sad, no one can make us angry, no one can scare us until we surrender our power to them. And don't surrender your power to anybody. Be full control, be the driver of your life. Just be you, the best you you can be. And do the best you can for yourself. What's next?